So everybody's least favorite thing to do is to clean those water spots off of a glass shower door. Now they tend to build up no matter what we do and it takes a lot of wiping, a lot of squeegeeing and I'll tell you what, it's just a nonstop effort. But today I'm gonna show you products that are gonna make getting those water spots off a breeze and also we're gonna put a hydrophobic coating on there that's gonna blow your mind and that water's just gonna fall right off in the future. I'll tell you what, if that interests you, you're in the right place, let's do it. So let's start by looking at my outdoor shower. This thing has lava rocks on it. It's got a beautiful glass door. I use it all the time. Inside, we got this shaving mirror. It's lit, it's heated, anti-fog. It's awesome, but they all collect those pesky water spots. And I'll tell you what, they're getting old. I'm sick of them. So let's take a peek inside this shower. First, we're gonna start off with this mirror. We're gonna clean it with the invisible glass glass cleaner, spray it from top to bottom, use a microfiber towel, and make sure we get it all off and just get any loose particulate off of there. Next, we're gonna follow up with some glass polish. Glass polish is specially formulated. It has micro um, abrasives in there that'll just knock off all those hard water spots, but we don't have to worry about it scratching the glass. Now, we do have to be careful. We don't wanna get too crazy with any products, but um, this is designed specifically for that, to cut through all the mess and get down in there. So we'll start out with a microfiber towel and we'll put a, always shake your product up and we'll put a nice amount right on the edge, just like that, and we'll start wiping it in. So now that we got the product on the towel, let's start working it into the glass, spreading it around nicely on there and agitating. You're gonna see little water spots kind of down on, underneath the polish, work it in, just keep working it, working it, working it until you remove the, uh, the water spot off of it. Now for those of you detailers out there that have mechanical polishers, this will be a great time to agitate it with your mechanical polisher, but it's not necessary. It can be done with a microfiber towel. It just requires a little bit more elbow grease. So after we get the product fully worked in and we got all those spots removed, we'll follow up by flipping the towel and buffing it to a nice luster. I'll tell you what, at this point, you should see it, it should be crystal clear. If it's not, then repeat step one and go ahead and run the polish over it again. Wipe it clean until it looks amazing. Now that we got it fully clean, fully polished, we're gonna come back with an isopropyl alcohol blend of about 50%, half isopropyl alcohol, half water. We're gonna spray that on the panel, and after it sets for just a second, we'll take the microfiber towel and we'll wipe it in. We want this thing super clean. What this does is removes any residue, any soap buildup, or anything that could have been left behind. And again, this is another time, as you're wiping the isopropyl alcohol on, inspect the glass. It should be crystal clear and it should be kind of tacky. That's what we want because now we're going to follow up with, this is an automotive uh, ceramic spray sealant and I'll tell you what, this stuff took an absolute beating. I tested it on my test hood and I sprayed every harsh chemical that we use in auto detailing on there and it still was alive at the end. So it's gonna easily handle being in the shower just for repetitive use. I'm positive of it. So we'll take some of this on, we'll spray it onto the glass. I wanna, usually it's just one spray per small area but I'm gonna put a little extra on and I'm gonna follow back behind with the microfiber towel, working it in a crosshatch pattern, meaning up and down left and right so that we cover every single bit of the glass. After it sets on there for just a second, we'll flip the towel over and again, we'll buff it clean. We want this completely off. Right now, you're already feeling it is super slick, man. It just, the slickness just comes to life immediately with this product. I'll tell you what, you're gonna know it's good and you're gonna love it. There's no question about that. Now look at that hydrophobic action already. Most of the water just falls right off the glass, but wait till you see this. Have you ever seen a mirror just be dried with water? <laughs> this is amazing. Look at that. Every single drop of water has gone off of that mirror. And for those of you that have dealt with this sort of thing, you know that that's insane. But now let's move on to the glass shower door. This thing's full of water spots. It's filthy, but we're going to get it cleaned up. I guarantee it. Here we go. We'll start with the window cleaner again. Spray it on. Wipe the microfiber towel around. This is where we're doing our inspection. We're wiping it clean. We're looking, where's all the water spots? Where's the heavy lifting gonna have to happen? That's the assessment I'm making right now. And on this glass, it's down the bottom. The bottom, about a foot and a half of this is just absolutely thrashed with water spots. So we'll put the glass polish on. 
we'll wipe it in again. I'm working those spots. And I have to tell you, I was surprised at how easy they came off. They just basically wiped right off. Now, if your glass is an absolute disaster and it's been setting like this for years, it's going to take some more elbow grease. There's no doubt about that. But keep in mind, this is probably going on almost 10 years old with, and it's the first time I've addressed this and they're wiping right off. And um, so I'm spreading the product around up and down now, just making sure I get all those spots, paying extra attention in those areas that have extras. And I'll tell you what, then I flip the towel and this product wipes right off too, which is really nice. And I'm seeing that I'm done. But if I did notice spots, I would address them right now. Now I'm gonna hit it with the isopropyl alcohol. You can see it kind of disappearing right as I wipe it on. So this product is easy to use too. And look at those results. It's crystal clear now and all set up and ready for the sealant. Now we'll go ahead and spray that uh, ceramic spray sealant on there and work it in a crosshatch pattern again, left to right. Then we'll come back up and down and we'll catch every single inch of this window. That's what it's all about. And we could do this on any window, by the way, any glass, anything that's affected by water spots. Now we'll turn the towel over, buff it to a, a nice clean luster. You can just see how easily it's coming off. We don't wanna let this product dry on there though. They, it does what's called flashing. It kinda starts to dry up and we wanna wipe it off at that point. You can just see how easy that is. Now we'll work the bottom. Same thing, put some on the handle, left to right, work it in, just make sure we, what, what we're trying to do here is just get max coverage. There's nothing special about this technique. It's just making sure we get every bit of that window. Now we flip the towel, start polishing it off, and I'll tell you what, man, I, you can just feel it's buttery slick underneath, and you already know how it's gonna, how it's gonna work, the way we saw it on that mirror, it's gonna be insane. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the outside just because I do some pressure washing out here and water does kick up on it. In the interior of the house, is the outside necessary? Probably not, but why not? Let's protect it, let's make it slick, let's make it nice, that's what we're all about. Now look at this water. It's just falling off the glass for starters with, with no nothing. But now look at this water sheeting. Every single drop just falls off and it's bone dry underneath. It's amazing. Let's look at a close up of this. Look at that. The water, it's catching the water beads and just drying them up. Any of you that have cleaned a shower door before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Having to climb around and squeegee and we got those tough to reach areas. I'll tell you what, this is awesome. You know it is. <laughs> All right, so that's how you clean your shower door or any glass. This works on vehicles. This works on, you know, maybe you have a, a glass window that's affected by a sprinkler or a mirror in your, in your shower, whatever you may have where you want to get water spots off the glass, you want to protect it and have it be easy to clean in the future, I'll tell you what, these a few amount of products right here are going to change your life. <laughs> they are going to change your life. All right, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll tell you what, I might just go hit the shower. <laughs> All right, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah!